So hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. Before we get started, let's go ahead and do this. Everything I'm about to say is purely an opinion. It is parody, it is satire, and it is my way of protesting using my First Amendment right to do so. Anyways, since we got that out of the way, we have to do that. We have to do that. Because if not, Sweetie will sue. That's what he does. That's what he does. He, he can't handle an opinion. But I know, I know, I know. But anyways, we have interviewed Sweetie a couple times on this channel. And each time has been definitely weird. I've never had to do an interview before, really. Like, outside of going to a job interview. But I've never really had to interview somebody one-on-one. -on -one. And it's been pretty interesting. And anyways, ever since the fiasco over at the Irons and Lawrence County uh, car auction, um, things have definitely been weird. Now, he did threaten to fuck my ass, which was on camera. And since then, we've found a bunch of scathing things. Rather it be his racism or uh, sexism, um, his misogynist activities. Um, and, you know, like... I, again, those are opinions. I can't prove those. Um, but he decided he wants another shot. And, you know, I know you guys like this. And I, I think, you know, maybe we should give him a chance to actually kind of clear the record. Because, you know, I'm all about giving people chances. And I kind of think, you know, let's give him a chance. And we'll go ahead and start. So, sweetie, um, since you decided to come back. And, you know, it's nice to see you, um, you know, but why did you decide to come back for another interview, despite how things have been going for you lately? Well, here's the thing. I thought I thought coming back for another interview would be kind of cool just to be like, hey, I, I need to prove that I am an alpha Chad. I love being an alpha and I wanted to let people know that I really love women and I, I love black people, too, and I do, because I love Terry uh, versus Ohio, and even though some black people don't like me, and women don't like me, it doesn't mean I'm a complete racist or a sexist or misogynist. It, that's not what that means at all. It just means I'm really awesome, and people are really jealous of me, and that's what it is. And, you know, you can say whatever you want, but I am a true alpha Chad, and I love women. I love them. Uh, and I would never, I mean, except for a few times, uh, pass my D out just to anybody. And I'd love to pass my D out. And if you want, you can have some of my D, too. Well, we definitely won't be passing any Ds out or accepting any Ds. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. You, you do this every time you hop on. Why Why you continue to do that? And you, you, like I said, you, you did on camera right in front of the whole, you know, 4,000 some people that was watching, not including the 1,000 some people that shown up to the auction for you by your side. Um, you, you threatened to fuck my ass and be on top, which again, that is sexual harassment, which, um, you know, here's the thing. I'm not going to sue you because I'm not a pussy. I, I'm just not, I'm just not going to down, go down that route because you're a pussy. I'm not, but you are. You you have to be reminded where you're standing, right? You have to know this. Well, I'm not a pussy. When I make threats, I mean it. And whenever you want, if you want to sign some papers, we'll go to the arena because I love to grapple men. I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. And you know what? I will sue every single person in Lawrence County or in the world that does not comply with my papers and lets me... Uh, manhandle them in a cage in an arena with oil and uh, oatmeal and uh, the torture cuffs and in the dungeons. I want it all. That's what I want. I want to be on top because I am pure alpha. Again, we always we talk about this quite a bit. You cannot call yourself the alpha. An alpha male does not call themselves the alpha. They don't bring attention to that again if people thought you was an alpha they would know they would respect that that goes for anybody who's considered an alpha you would automatically know you don't have to be reminded of that now here's the thing too this is what's been weird to me is you know you have a lot of problems with the black community and you probably deny this but 
a lot of people in the black community do not like you. Like, they don't. I, You know, I was on TikTok, and I decided to take a look, see what you really was all about. And that's some pretty scathing things. And you can say they're not true, but I don't believe you. Especially with the phone calls we listen to, where you have to constantly interject to say, hey, you're black. I, I mean, these people that happen to be black know they're black. You don't have to remind them. And what's this thing about having them play on bongo drums? What's that all about? I, I don't understand that. Um, you know, you, you, you're putting yourself into a position where you don't really belong. You're trying to take their words and make them yours. And by very definition, that is white knighting and that is racism. One way or the other, that's what it is. Well, I'm not racist. I, and I can prove it because... You know, I love Terry still. I love Terry versus Ohio, and I'm all about it. And um, I, I, I love black people. I am the black savior, and I will be the Dark Knight. And you know what? Uh, the, the people will call me the Dark Knight because I am the black savior. That's what I do. And, you know, I am not racist, and I'm not sexist. You're just making these things up, and I, I, I swear to God I'm going to sue you. Hey, man, these are my opinions. You decided to come on. I didn't ask you. You decided you wanted to come on. I mean, you're doing the same thing with Blue Bacon. You you know, you know, ask him to debate you, but whenever he decides to, hey, I want to debate you, you run away. Uh, what is your deal? Like, you're supposed to be this alpha mega chad. What, what is going on? I mean, shouldn't you be wanting to actually debate him since you are so smart and have super high intellect? I mean, is that something you... You, you should jump on, honestly. Well, here's the thing. People that want to debate me, they need to come on my channel because um, because it, 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 it's how it works. And, you know, I have a big brain, huge intellect, and people are intimidated by it. And Blue Bacon and Masshole Report and you, you guys are just scared of me because I have 30,000 people on my YouTube channel. And, you know, I can draw thousands of people around the world to come see me and listen to everything I say. And they give me money for it. And when it says it's pretty cool, too, I get money because I'm really cool, you know? And, you know, people just love me. And, you know, you know, if you want to debate me, let's debate. I mean, I... I'm not going to debate you because I don't know anything about the law. And I honestly, that's, I don't care. I don't care about that. The one thing I do care is about you being a scam artist and a bully. That's that's what I have a problem with, especially when you're in my area, offering people hope for something you can't promise. Now, you are giving legal advice without a license, which if you have a license, I would like to see that because you can give legal information, but you cannot give legal advice without some type of a license. Now, I know you have a court case coming up and you decided to uh, <laughs> represent yourself, which good luck with that. I hope you have fun with that. Um, yeah. But, you know, here's another thing. Like, you have uh, a really cool dude um, out there um, who's challenging you to a fight with going the right way about assigning papers and there's going to be an event with it. Now, you said yourself that you'll take anybody you know, you like the grapple men and that's your favorite. You know, you, you are a tough guy. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you don't back out of this because you already do seem like a giant pussy and I'm afraid you're going to back out of it. Well, I'm really strong and tough and he's going to eat my butt and uh, my eat dirt and, and I'm going to wipe his face everywhere. I'm going to put his face and I'm going to be like, look at me, I'm just a cop and I'm going to whoop your ass. And look at me, I'm really cool. And I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to punch you in the face. No, not now, I'm going to grapple you. I'm going to put my arms around you and I'm going to squeeze and squeeze and I love you and I'm going to kiss you and... Stop. I'm going to stop you right there. Stop you right there. You, you need to... <laughs> You need to control yourself. You do. You do. You get out of hand really easy. And I don't know why you get so bit out of shape. Like, you have this thing where, you know, you don't follow through with things. You know, if somebody accepts a challenge to a fight or a debate, 
you run away and you cower by it. Or if you make comments on people's YouTube pages, you immediately delete them, which we have proof of you doing that. I actually shown that on the channel as well. Um, so what is your deal, man? What, why are you so afraid? What, what, what's your problem? Are you afraid you're going to get your ass kicked or make you look super stupid? I mean, you already make yourself look dumb to begin with, with all the shit you say. And, you know, it's, it's your fault. It's not any of our fault. And you say you're the alpha. You said you're the big Chad. You have a big brain. You have high intellect. And here you are just being a giant douchebag like a big pussy, but nobody really cares about, and you think everybody cares about you. Well, everybody cares about me. You don't even know. I have so many followers. I have the biggest YouTube channel on the planet, and people love I'm going to have over 107,000 people follow me by the end of the summer. You just watch. People are going to love me. Uh, everybody's going to love me, and I'm going to begin handing out my D everywhere. Everybody's going to get a piece of my D because I am the D master. I love spreading my D around the world because I am a constitutional scholar and I'm also a bitch. You, did you mean to say that? Did you say you mean to... No, no, I'm not a bitch. I, I don't know why I came out. Because sometimes you, you put words in my mouth and I'm going to sue you for that. I didn't put nothing in your mouth and you can't sue me for having an opinion. You, you wanted to come here. You wanted to stop here. I didn't invite you you asked for it. And I said, okay, that's fine. That's fine. You're allowed to come on and I can interview you. That's that's you. That's all you, man. Um, so, I mean, this interview's gone almost 12 minutes. And you have proved yourself to be a complete moron. So, what's, what's next? What is next? Well, I'll tell you what next. There's going to be... Um, there's going to be fireworks, and there's going to be a parade, and there's going to be, people are just going to be like, Go, sweetie, you're the man. Go, sweetie, you're off the chat. Go, sweetie, I love women. Go, sweetie, I am a dickhead. Why? 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 <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're fucking great, man. Uh, you know what, I, I, sweetie, as much as I like to leave you on here and continue this, I, I think we need to back off. Now, you know, I'll give you a chance again to come back when you're, you feel a little bit better and you take, you know, you're, you can hold yourself better. I, I, I don't want to embarrass you because you're kind of making a fool of yourself and i i want you to come at me with your best i don't want you you know to feel like you can't you know hold back you feel like you're holding back but here you are you're you're putting things in your mouth and you're you're confusing me you're confusing me I, and i don't know why so sweet let's go ahead one more question um now since you know we have this um this fight coming up hopefully in september um, with uh, one of the people on the police force, and we're putting this thing together. It's going to be really awesome. So, what what is your method, and how are you going to approach this? Well, I'm going to be like whack, and I'm going to whack, and then I'm going to put, I'm going to grab my arm, and I'm put oil all over my body, and I'm going to be like way, and I'm going to like way again, and I'm going to like way, and I'm going to grapple, and I'm going to hold, and then. Then I'm going to take my shirt off and let people see my uh, my pectoral muscles and my greasy abs and uh, looking how good I look because I, I you know I'm an alpha and I want people to look how good I look and I'm definitely not a dweeb but uh, you know I have a small penis I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and tell I have a really tiny penis I can't help it my penis is so small it and I want people to think I have a giant penis but I don't. I have a really tiny penis, and it's so small, and it's embarrassing, but I want people to think that I have a giant penis, because if people think I have a giant penis, they'll think I'm really cool and awesome, and I can hand out my D everywhere, and I can also do my constitutional stuff everywhere, because people think I'm cool, and that's why I don't want people to know I have a small penis, and, um, I, I, you know, the, the, it's still, it's still on, on the table if you ever want to go out and, you know, chill out, me and you hanging out together, um, you know, you know, I'll take you out to dinner and, 
you know, I'll, I'll just reach you a good time, and I'll even give you the D if you want. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just an offer. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And this is where we're going to It was nice to have you on the channel again today. I, I'm glad you stopped by. And hopefully, hopefully, um... Hopefully the small penis thing gets cleared up. And, you know, I, I hate that you, you know, had to bring that up. And, and you, you're kind of brave for bringing that up, too. I mean, um, it takes guts to let people know how small your penis is. Like, it really does. Um, got a lot of, you got a lot of respect right there. And, and, you know, I appreciate your honesty. And I hope you have a good time, uh, whatever you're doing, um, uh, and hopefully, um, you know, maybe next um, interview we have together, uh, things can be a little bit better. But until then, I'm going to let you head out. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. So that was that. That was the interview for the day. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Um, I never once said he had a small penis. He just came out and said he had a small penis. He, What is his deal? Like, I don't get it. Like... He's supposed to be this alpha, but he's this close. I mean, I guess if he wants to be transparent about things, I guess that's a way of doing it. Um, you know, just letting everybody know he, he has a small penis. I, I guess that's fine. That is being transparent, and I do respect that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. We're so close to 1,000 followers. If 200 of you guys today decided to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, we'll hit... A thousand followers by my birthday, which is on the 22nd of May. That would be amazing. I hope you guys do. I hope you give me a chance. I love doing these videos. And again, everything I done there was parody. It is satire. It is my opinion. And it's protected by, actually, it's my protest as well. And it's protected by the First Amendment. And so remember, guys, don't let him hand you the D. If he tries to hand you the D, run away. Just run away.